Hello, and welcome to my prayer closet. I'm really happy that you chose to come and pray with me today. Today, I am going to be praying for you to become more literate when it comes to your finances or financial literacy for you and your entire household. And so what you'll need to do is just come into agreement with me by hitting that um, thumbs up button, typing amen when I'm done. By the way, when I'm done praying, as the Holy Spirit leads me, I may share um, probably a pretty embarrassing testimony related to financial literacy in my own life that I hope and pray will encourage you. So we'll see how the Lord leads us. All week long is called the money thing. And we are praying for our finances, different area Uh, areas of our finances and our scripture or memory verse for the week is from Philippians 419 and it is on the screen and my God shall supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory through and by Christ Jesus and so please come into agree with agreement with me to pray with me to believe God that you would become more financially literate and all that means is that you are understand how to not only be a good steward of your finances, but to help your finances to grow. It is about you being financially literate literate enough to take advantage of opportunities. It's about you being literate enough to not go backwards in your finances, to be wise in your finances. And so that's what I want to pray over you, that you and your entire household become much more financially literate. Come on and pray with me in agreement. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are an all-knowing, all-doing God. And Lord, even though this prayer is just a little difficult, we're so grateful that you know what's in our heart. And so, Father, there are some of these ladies, unfortunately, that are financially illiterate. But God, we're so grateful that you are our dad and you are our Lord and that we can just come to you. Oh, Lord Jesus, I ask you to help each and every one of these precious ladies and the brothers that are here become much more financially literate this year. I pray that they understand their balance sheet. I pray they understand how to balance their checkbook, how to budget, how to invest, how to spend their money wisely, how to save, how to sow. Lord Jesus, there are some women that just don't know what they don't know. And so, Father, I'm calling on you, King Jesus, asking you by the power of the Holy Spirit to help us become more financially literate. Lord, I pray that you would lead us. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are ordered by you and you delighteth in our way. And so I pray that our steps are ordered Father, the Bible says also in Romans that we can be transformed by renewing our mind. So help us to renew our minds to become more financial literate. Father, we come against the spirit. We come against the evil's wicked spirits that will try to keep us illiterate. We bind and rebuke any and all thinking that is not of you. Father, we come out of the paycheck to paycheck mentality. We thank you that we accept and understand that wealth is our birthright and it's okay. Father, we're committed to loving you and not loving money and not loving things. Help us, Lord Jesus, to go through this year being wiser, being smarter, being more focused and diligent. Help us go through the year being sowers and givers. Help us go through the year being investors. 
Help us to learn. Help us to get out of our comfort zones. To do what we know that's inside of us to do. By your spirit. By your power, Lord. It's in the name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. 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 Oh, man, I just sense the presence of the Lord right now. And um, while I was praying, um, the Lord laid on my heart that there are um, some uh, some sisters who um, who really are struggling and have for so many years because of financial illiteracy, not understanding um, how to do certain things. Do you know the Lord sees and the Lord knows? He sees and he knows. And so this is the type of prayer that we have faith and then we back it up with our works. You can get online and look for free resources on how to learn different financial terms and how to do the basics, okay? So here is uh, kind of a quick testimony that I said maybe I'll share Um, It's a little embarrassing because I missed out on an amazing opportunity Um, back uh, when I was uh, very young, kind of just starting my career after college, getting my bachelor's degree. I was dating a gentleman um, who wined me and dined me, so to speak, who I liked a whole lot, who was super smart. And it just so happens he was a stockbroker, about eight or nine years older than me, and For my birthday, he bought me um, the book Investing for Dummies book, and he wanted to teach me how to invest my money since I was newly, you know, out of college, relatively new out of college and didn't really understand much. And and so he bought me that book along with some other things. And and so. He highly advised me because there was this one place that I liked a lot and I used to go there to write and think and this one place. And he just kept saying, you know, Kimyetta, honey, you should um, buy stocks. He was explaining to me, trying to get me to be more financially literate because I wasn't. I just thought you get paid. You spend your money, maybe save a little bit. I didn't know I'm supposed to pay myself first. Um, I didn't know I I had the power, even in my 20s, to invest in the stock market and mutual funds. Like, I didn't know. So he was attempting to educate me, and he kept trying to get me to invest in this one stock. And he kept explaining that the way you get started with investing is you just go with the, you know, the, the things you use every day. Uh, Start with that. If there's a product you like a whole lot, maybe start buying, you know, two or three stocks every time you get paid for that product. And so I really just kind of blew it off like, oh, I don't want to hear that. I don't know. And I wasn't financially literate. I came from the housing project. So I just know when you get your money, you spend your money. Well, y'all, guess what that stock was back then that he kept trying to get me to buy? Back then in the 90s, the stock was Starbucks. And at the time, Starbucks was just really spreading across the U.S. at only about probably, if I remember correctly, like $20 a share, something like that. Yeah, I think it was like $20 a share. And he was just saying, you know, Kimyetta, since you go to Starbucks all the time, buy stock. And I wasn't literate. He was trying to get me, teach me. But I wasn't literate, um, wasn't interested. And y'all, today, Starbucks is what it is. And Starbucks shares are $93 a share. So even if I invested a little bit of my paycheck, 50 bucks every two weeks into Starbucks stocks, there's a very good chance I could be a multimillionaire right now. (laughs) But I wasn't financially literate. And that's what today's prayer was about, about you educating yourself on everything from balancing your checkbook to um, making um, 
great decisions with your funds to paying yourself first to understanding stocks, bonds, mutual funds, Bitcoin, crypto, all of that. Uh, this channel is about helping you not just pray, but after you pray, okay, God, what's the action steps I need to take, okay? Anyway, I certainly hope today was helpful. I'm grateful for your partnership in ministry, and I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's prayer is going to focus on financial wisdom from God, and I'm really excited to pray with y'all. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.